Hello, and welcome back to Pick and Play. Sets of Mind Food, the Kazakh Mind. We are back in the Russian Empire, fighting our way through Germany and through what's left of the Reich's Pact. If we can break Germany, we'll break the rest. So, looking around the world. Hmm. There's this force in Italy. Have you been sent to go yet? Yes, you have been sent to go, but you don't like your odds, so you're not. Okay, got it. Uh, weird flex, but okay. Then, on our lines, we do have a threat of being cut off here. But hopefully we can keep that done. Other than that, we got to push for Stetten, push for Hamburg, which is currently under siege. Over here we got pushes for Le Bleu, pushes up there. Everything's going all right. Fighting through the Ukrainian forces. Uh, the front over here in Karalia could be better, but at least it's being held back. Okay, that land went a bit better now. Maybe attack up in there to try and get a cutoff. A nice cheeky cutoff here and there. It won't be too bad. Speaking of which, looks like they are being forced back to Danzig. If we use our tank divisions, we might be able to get something. I got that super heavy tank division out and about, but it doesn't seem to want to pick a place to go. If you want, just go to go to there and then attack into Danzig. Go ahead. Do it. I dare you. Double dog dare you. You're more of a siege vehicle anyway down in the Africas. You are making a move, and I don't like that. If you would like to get in there, please do, because I'm trying to get this guy back from Kampala. Other than that, looks like our troops are doing pretty good. If we make a march to the coast, we can get reinforcements, because there's so many in the water. Over in India, Dominion of India, looks like they're going to lose against the Bharatiya Commune. Uh, we'll mostly leave that to their fate unless they get towards Iran. We're kind of busy on all other fronts. Over here, it looks like we have cut them off near Stettin. So we're just pushing into Stettin now. And we're attacking in. We got them cut off in Danzig. We got them cut off and retreating into this province, into that city. That area is alright. Up here, our attacks are going kind of hard, but at least we're pushing them back from the territory they had. Ew. I want to try to get those troops connected up with my army again. You, support equipment from, who are you? Kurdistan. Support equipment from Kurdistan, good for him. Up through here, Hamburg is still under siege, but it's not really doing much. Uh, that, this tank is going to take a while. How, how much longer you got? You're going two kilometers an hour. Oh, that would be so boring to just sit in that tank we got multiple successive attacks on Stetten, but it's not going to work because there's just so much in the water. Uh, let's see, up here, we could try to attack Rostock, but probably going to have the same effect. Up there we seem fine. You, you are attacking at every possible opportunity. Try to go for Dusseldorf and Essen. I pushed the caps lock instead of the thing I wanted. There, there. Move in, you take Dortmund and move on into Essen, the second capital. Down in Africa, you are still cut off. I'm surprised they're just letting you be. You hold them down for a second. Maybe I can walk in the opposite direction, try to get those troops home. You are still trying to make your march to the sea. And you almost got it. You, you got kind of to the sea. You back up here. Okay, Danzig is going just fine. Is my tank in yet? Yes, my Super Heavy is in. Lovely. Are you in the actual combat, though? No, you're very, very weak. Okay. What if I just uh, stop everybody who is not the Super Heavy tank? Make sure the Super Heavy gets in combat. No, come on. I want the Super Heavy to count. I'm, I paid a lot for that thing. I know that Super Heavies are useless, but they're just fun. They're just so god dang big. So, one side of this is not going so well, but one side is going very well. We got a lot of troops stuck in Stetten. Taking it would be nice. Over here, we got a little bit of a... Uh, ah, look at that! Alright, well, if they're going to mostly break their line, then we need to break on through into France from this side. Over here, we just keep up the Hamburg attack. Munster and Ber Belefeld. That doesn't sound German. Probably mispronounced that. Up here, rocketry effort. Could be done. Air superiority. The ort system. Sure, why not? Back in here. And we're walking. 
Guys, we're walking. You've been forced back, and you are attacking that way. Maybe pin him down while you go. Can't trust those dang Ottomans. Over here, we got Italians fighting. Well, you know, your entire front is being held just by me, so maybe you want to reconsider. Over here, we're attacking pretty far into France from the south. It's lovely. We got more, but uh, don't know how much I want to really use on this. Just keep putting it into support equipment. That's going to really bite me in the ass later, so I'll put it down the bottom next to you. That's really going to bite me in the ass. We got uh, positive attacks on Danzig. We got positive attacks on Stettin. We got... Uh, honestly, you, you might as well break off and go ahead and just surround Rostock so we can get that taken care of. You, it's not really a reason to keep this around, so you might as well take it. Over here. Ooh, Bremen's about to be taken by Iranian troops. Alright, so that was nearly a crash. Nearly, but just because you could probably see something has happened here. Yes, yeah, so that was the peace deal, specifically the peace deal between the Entente and the Reichspakt. The Reichspakt no longer existing. And all proper German lands going to... Huh, going to Canada, despite the fact that they're being owned by me. Down in Africa, it is now controlled by the German government in exile, while some of their lands are being controlled by the Commonwealth and the French Republic, although I don't really agree with their positions. Because of shenanigans, German government in exile is now outside of the war, so we are no longer at war with them, meaning all of our troops are now exiled inside their land. We have to bring them home. We've ended up with lands inside of Spain, because that was uh, controlled by the Germans. And then the French Kingdom still exists, but we are at... and we're still at war with them. So that's true. Unfortunately, I don't like the fact that we had to give up all this land without our consent, straight over to Canada. Definitely disapprove of that. This is considered colony states, it's not even an occupied zone. Hmm. Honestly, can you expect anything else from the Entente? They never keep their promises. I've spent all that time, all that manpower, all that blood and Russian steel taking out Germany and they just take it away from me without even inviting me to the peace deal. Ain't that just like them? Hmm. Even if I let this defense go, wouldn't matter. Which, by the way, what's going on here? So we... this is still core state territory. Huh. Well then. If they're no longer in a faction... Yeah, if they're no longer in a faction and all their territory is taken over, then I expect this to be just capitulation real soon. Like, these, your troops don't exist anymore. Your nations don't exist. Just give up. You have nothing left to fight for. Germany is defend. Germany has left you. I have left you. We also need to consider what to do with our army now. I don't really want to use German, uh, Russian soldiers to clean this up. I would prefer to use them on fronts that actually matter to us, like keeping ourselves safe from the Finns, who are having a hard enough time. Let's see. Starting with our tanks. They can be the first to go in. How about you? Light tanks for the cold up there. You can go from here on into Helsinki. Go for it. Heavy tanks. Not sure. Gonna let things keep going, because I don't know what's gonna go with those, uh... Uh-huh. Uh yeah, this is all done. And yet, there's no peace deal. <laughs> They just kind of exist. Ah, there we go. Today, the unthinkables occurred. The German Heer forces fighting in Europe have finally collapsed under the weight of the invading armies. The Reich just couldn't control the struggle, and so it appears the Kaiser, his cabinet, and a considerable number of state officials and key generals have embarked by sea the African colonies still in the hands of the Germans. The Kaiser is seemingly committed to continuing the struggle for his imperial possessions of overseas. But for now, the war in Europe is over, and the worldwide German Empire has been thrown into utter disarray. A humiliation of the breast of the Tosk had been avenged. Indeed. So, 
Of course we need to take our eastern lands. The fact that we've not even given a chance to take over. Say Ostpressen, the Posen of Schlesien. Schlesien. Uh, Silesia, Parmen. That would be nice because taking out the Prussian nation would ensure peace to have it underneath a Russian boot heel. But I suppose we're not going to get those. How about Japan and, Ta and Siam are the next highest. Everyone else does not have any say in the matter. So we just need to make sure that we don't lose any of these small provinces to some nation that could just walk over and take it. So starting with low provinces, things that start with uh, less than 20, I would say. That would probably be in the Ukraine. Mm, seems like I can't have too many open at once. Ukraine, take all states. I'll take 800 for that. Yeah, it looks like most of yours are pretty low quality. So I'll take all those. I'll take this area. Eh, 30. It's pretty close. Bertotsk. Eh, take Lodzd. Vorsava. Take that, take this. Uh, that's too much. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe give back Plok. End that turn. Okay. Seems I haven't taken anything to yet. I'm going to need to pass for a second. And take the rest. Now, this doesn't include Finland, which is a bit unfortunate. Let's see, who's left in this? United Baltic Duchy, I've already taken all states. Lithuania, already got them. Poland, already got them. Then Republic of Hawaii. Oh, just click. Johnston, Ace Toll, Phoenix Island, Samoa, and the Line Islands. Okay. So I, Hawaii has already been taken. That must have been what Japan did. Okay. Yeah. A Russian Pacific Island. That, that sounds nice. That sounds like something I would want. And then Kingdom of Burma. I mean, it would be nice, but those are some steep prices. And the turn there. I'd be able to take like a single point. Maybe. Yeah, that'd be too much. Get a little bit of rubber out here. Even then, it would just be taken over by the Baratia Commune anyway. Hmm. While I don't like the idea of helping out my soon-to-be enemy by giving him land, I suppose the best I could do would maybe go for that, if we want a colonial empire. Eh, decent defensive ridges on either side, but then we'll just be taken over by the Baratias. Not really worth my time. Strangely, they have not done anything. I, I could walk away with Burma. <laughs> <laughs> I find that too funny to not pass up. If I take Yangon, that's a lot of tungsten. A little bit of oil. Take the coast? Nah. Why are you not taking anything, Japan? Why? Why are you not taking anything? I'm assuming they have to be able to take it next time, right? Ah, uh, yep, they took something. Look, I'm, I'm fine. I'm done. I don't need anything. Russian Empire took 38 states. Japan took 7. Kingdom of Siam took 1. Ah, see, those are pretty good borders. Uh, Poland was annexed to Hawaii, Lithuania, Ukraine, Duchy, Burma, and quite a lot of equipment was sieged. Uh, yeah, Empire Japan stuff down there, not exactly the best, but if we help out the Minion of India, we'd at least have a near border. Now, to look at all my sectors. We have Italy, which is mostly being controlled by our troops just sitting on the border. I think that is a situation that can hold. We have French Republic pushing into the French Kingdom's land. That can be mostly there. I don't know why you haven't given this up. Coming to France has non -sig. Maybe after the war is over and the French Republic has their capital back, that'll go back. Um, there is Flanders Valonia that we could take. Now, unfortunately, I can't ask for any of these, these provinces because, unfortunately, ask control state. Yeah, you have Shetfield, and that's it. You little shit. Ah, mostly break up the army, I would say. Hmm. Hmm. I need to think about what to do. First off, yeah, it's up up there is the important one. You, Red Force. Eh, let's see, you. You're fine. You get yourself on the 
border with them, break through their lines so that we can conquer England for the Canadians. Then you, with your tanks, break through their lines so we can have our horses drink from the Seine. Then, Chuikov, you'll be the man for the job. Start breaking through and taking both nations. That'll be all we can do from here. You, give up your... Yeah, give up your Austrians. They've done enough. Then, with what you have left... Eh, let's see. We'd like to pull back from this war as much as possible. We have seemingly taken over all of... Uh, Norway. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Good to know. I'm going to start... Yeah, I'm going to need to secure this. So we will just use you at the moment to secure what we've gained already. Not sure how much this is going to be. Uh, just, yeah, just on the north side. Down to here. And Petrograd indeed. Cover yourself with anything you got. Your army's perfectly suited for that. You... Mostly made up of Russians, a couple good divisions, and then some very poor divisions from our allies. You. Mostly allies. Hmm. Vladimir von Manstein. You are mostly made up of the bad divisions. So we'll make a new theater for you. You'll be sent to India. Relatively low priority. But you're going to have to get there quick. So in order to do that, I'm going to need your credit card number. You go there. You don't necessarily need to hold out in Nepal. Nepal, Nepal's got it. But yeah, hold out through Lahore. Get there as quickly as possible. You're currently recovering. So you'll just go down there and have a nice time. You'll be on garrison duty up in the north for a while. You'll actually be fighting. You... Hmm. I could send you up to the northern front, but I think that's fine. We need to start getting ready for an attack against Japan. So I think you will be sent to the far east with your troops. You can uh, expel the Greeks. We don't need them right now. Yes, yeah, so with your troops, you will subsume these troops from his units. And then together, your army will be placed on that border and be the ones to push into Beijing. That'll be, that'll be a good enough plan. And that's all of them, thank you. That'll be Manstein, sent to the east. Then, the other eastern forces are mostly made up by our weak units and a lot of cavalry. Hmm. So, maybe you should also be sent out there. Although, perhaps India could use your services. Georgi Zhukov, take out France for now. Let's see, Ivan Romansky, you are... Who is our highest ranking general at the moment? When it comes to generals, that is Vasily Chuikov and Boris Shepanikov. I always mess up his name. Hmm. Boris is a six star general with 10 planning speed. Oh my. Now, Vasily Chuikov, he's, he's just a very good infantry commander. He. No, do not resign. Do not. Do not resign. He is... He, he's probably one of the best infantry generals we have. Uh, Georgi, Georgi Zhukov was also very good, but that's why he's such a good field marshal. Maybe I will pass up... Yeah, you... And you you pretty much took out the Baltic... Is that right? Yeah, the Baltics by yourself. I think you deserve a promotion. Wherever I can find you. There you go. Yes. But no, let me promote this man. I'll have recently promoted for a while. And then from your recent promotion to Field Marshal, you will... Hmm, India? Uh, North already has Rangel. East could you... Far East could definitely use a Field Marshal. Hmm. Choices, choices. I could send you to India for now. You're going to be sent there. You're going to be sent there. And then, yep, put them all into a battle group. Led by you. Roll six. You won the best we got in the biz. Your men will have to be led by a lesser man, to be sure. 
Uh, let's see, the garrison under you. How good are you? I'm trying to figure out roleplay options here. You're not one of my best generals, to be honest. This the Konstantin Rokovsky, he's been in the east for a while, I think. He's been commanding the men of the east. You, wait. Oh, there you are. You're a scavenger. Yeah, you pretty much fit your role. Your men will be commanded by a relatively new general, who's more of a cavalry leader, but he'll do. He'll have to do. Together, you get rid of your line now. Together, we are going to have to hold this line in India and try to push our way to where we can attack from here. And there's also those, uh, yeah, the new Russian islands, the Line Islands. Former Hawaiian and American territory. Well, Union of American States, maybe you should have done something about that. They are Russian now. Fiji, you are controlled by... Oh, Australis. That's right. We still got an Australia to fight with a Hitler mustache. How strong is my navy in the area? Convoy raining fleet and then... Yeah, you. You are decently sizable. I'm going to have to start going after Australia. Because in Australia... Do I even have a reason? I don't know if I have a reason to attack Australia. I just want to attack Australia. That's, it's green. That's good enough for a reason for me. Then there's also the question of what to do in Africa. Hmm. We can't declare war right away. You have... But you're not in anything, are you? How about... Dish... <sighs> Claim Dishbuti. That is exactly what we are going to do. We are going to claim this booty. And with that, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye!